What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make chromatic scales in FL Studio. So, you should watch my original FL Studio tutorial first, if you don't already know how to use the program. Um, but with that out of the way, let's just go straight in. You're going to want to drag in the boyfriend chromatic scale. And you're going to want to get some samples. Um, you can get these samples from anywhere. But generally, you should just go, ah, oh, e, yo. Sound like that. Sound like that. You should do that into your mic. And you can put whatever editing effects you want on it. You're also going to want to drag in the, those sound effects. Okay, actually, on second thought. Let's go into Audacity and record some samples right now so I can show you how to do it. Alright, so. Ah. Uh, uh, e. There we go. You can like use your auto tune or whatever on it. Sure. That'll work. I don't know in what case you would want a voice like that, but it works. So go ahead and just save that file. And and you're going to want to drag in your file. And, so you're going to want to grab this right, and you're going to want to turn it off. And then you're going to want to zoom in using your mouse wheel. You're going to want to try to line this up. Line the first one up with that. Now, chances are it's going to be longer. Hmm. So you can maybe, like, speed up your samples. Or slow them down or whatever. Yeah, you, know, you can do like this. But that makes it way too high pitched for me. Okay, so, basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up here, and you're going to want to pick this tool, and you're going to want to slice it. You're going to want to slice these two areas. Now, I recorded these samples way too long. You would generally want the samples to be lined up with these, but whatever. Point still stands. Copy and paste them. And just keep on copying and pasting them. Until you reach about the end of the boyfriend chromatic scale. Alright, there we go. Now you're just going to want to delete that. And you're going to want to export this file. Okay. 
and we're going to do tutorial scale width. All right, you're just going to want to get rid of all of these. And grab that scale width that you just saved. Now it should just be a bunch of samples repeated. Now you're going to want to see this button. And you're going to want to click on it. Pitch correct sample. All right, and you see these knobs up here when this um, thing pops up? You're going to want to do this to them. So just make sure center is the only one. So you're going to want to... So you see this? You can like drag this around and stuff. So for your first one, I think you're supposed to go down to like three. And then... So, for each voice sample, you're going to want to go up by one. Um, they'll often be split into little parts. Like this. But, if you have the patience, you can do it. You just need to keep on dragging these. So... So yeah, that's one sale. And yeah, you're just gonna keep on going up until you run out of samples. I'm just gonna cut to that. Alright, so I'm now done with this scale. So you're going to want to press this button to send it to the playlist. Now let's listen to it. Uh, it'll show up as number two. Then you're just going to want to export that. And... Boom. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Bye guys!